Hey everyone and welcome to a new video on Byte of Geek. So this is the next episode in my Smart Byte series where I take a, a concept within Home Assistant and basically walk you through the basics of it in a video that's kind of like five minutes or so in length. Uh, you know, show you some of the examples in my Home Assistant installation and you know, hopefully kind of give you that that grounding so that you either you know try and implement some of that yourself or you go off and you do some further reading and kind of like build upon those basics to you know implement that in your smart home. So in this video today I'm going to be going through zones and areas in Home Assistant. So let's start off with zones then because when you install Home Assistant you actually create uh, a zone uh, to start with, you know, it asks where your home location is and you can specify that in Home Assistant. So that is your first zone. So what are zones then? Well, basically, think of them as being a, uh, a virtual boundary uh, around a center point. So, you know, your home being the, the center point and then you've got a radius around that which forms a zone. And you know, what you can do is, you know, anything that enters into that zone um, you whether you know it's somebody a member of your family that's got um, you know home assistant on their mobile device you can then trigger things entering that zone so um, you know the way I use zones within home assistant uh, you know I've got a zone for um, work locations and using the ways integration I can determine the, uh, the latest travel time for that day to travel from my home to my work location. Uh, so, you know, very straightforward, lots of other things you could do. You could have one for a zone for where your local uh, supermarket is, for example. And, um, you know, maybe when you get to the supermarket, uh, it could come up with some kind of shopping list or something like that of, uh, you know, a, a reminder of things that you need to get. Just some simple ideas there. Um, you know, everybody's going to use zones in different ways. Uh, lots of people just leave the default uh, zone. Uh, you know, when you install Home Assistant, but you know, if you've got uh, you know various family members and stuff like that, you know, schools, you know, have your kids arrived at school? Okay, you know, you will see that as they enter that zone. You know, you can get a little alert come up on your mobile device. Uh, to, to indicate that. So a good way of kind of like, um, as it were, tracking entities, um, but also being useful in other areas as well within Home Assistant. So how do you set up a zone in Home Assistant? Well, it's pretty straightforward. So you click on settings and uh, in your menu options there, you've got areas, labels and zones. So you click on that and then top of the screen, you've got areas, labels and zone tabs click on zones and it will show you your home one there. Uh, so you can uh, just click on the create zone button in the bottom right hand corner and then you can give it a, a name, uh, test zone, and then um, you know, a little bit like how you would use something like Google Maps. You, you can move the, um, you know, the destination pointer around and uh, you know, place it wherever you need. Um, you can then give it a radius. So if you really want to kind of like hone down the uh, the area, uh, the the zone itself, you know you can you can do that, um, and then you, know, you can mark it as whether it's a passive one, so that you can use it within automations, and you just basically create that then. So that is then your test zone, and then you can use that elsewhere then within Home Assistant. So the other topic of this video is areas. Now, this has had some updates from the Home Assistant team in recent times. Basically, areas are uh, kind of like you know, areas of your house. You, know, you can have your kitchen, you can have your dining room, you can have your bedrooms, um, you, know, you can have your garden, things like that. If you've got um, multi-storey property, then you, know, you can define floors and things like that. Um, you can put all your devices into an area. You can create automations that basically will you know, turn on everything in an area or, or perform some kind of action on all those uh, devices in that area. A lot of the functionality within Home Assistant you can filter on areas as well. So, um, you know, it makes it a little bit easier for, for managing a lot of the kind of like automations and devices. So definitely something that's worth setting up. It's not essential when you get going with Home Assistant. 
Um, you know, I'm sure you, you, you may well have seen these kind of like 3D floor plans. Um, you know, areas come into play when you're doing stuff like that. But as I say, it's not essential. So to create an area then, well, it's just a case of going into settings and then areas, labels and zones. And you see, I've already got uh, three areas already set up, a bedroom, kitchen and living room. Um, in the bottom corner, I've got option to create floors and I can also create an area as well. Now, I already have a floor set up um, and it's probably, you know, if you've got multi-storey property, it's probably best to go and set those up in advance. Uh, but I will you know, put the bathroom uh, in here and we'll give it a bath icon and then the floor so i've got the upper floor uh, i wouldn't worry about labels at the moment that's probably a topic for another video now if you want to get really fancy with your areas you can go around your house and take pictures um, you know of those particular areas and you can upload those pictures into home assistant and use them here um, just helps to identify things a little bit uh, easier um, you know when you've got maybe you know the areas on dashboards and then uh, your final option is that you can uh, kind of like have aliases uh, for that area. So uh, yeah, I'm not going to go through that in this video. This is just the basics of areas at this moment in time. So then we create the, uh, the bathroom and uh, you know, I can click on that and you can see you know, there are no uh, devices, there's no entities, there's no automation, scene, script or anything like that. Um, but now I can go and you know, go and create those devices so all the previous videos in the series uh, so far you know they've shown you how to do all of that kind of stuff so when you're setting those up uh, you know you can go and specify the area that you want to put those items into and then they will show up here and you know it is just a little bit more easier to manage now as I said uh, earlier on in the video you can then go and you know create your automations which will allow you to control that um, that group of devices within that area um, you know just another way of being able to manage all the devices within your smart home so if you think of those 3d views of people's houses you know where you can touch on a room and your know, lights will come on or heating will come on or, or something like that you know by having areas set up as I say you know you can you can achieve something like that with your grouping of your devices together in that area now just to give you a bit of an example of uh, how that would display you know i've got uh, my car here you know let's just if we put the car in the bathroom uh, very silly example but um, you know an easy one to uh, to actually go and set up so you know i've edited that i've selected the area it's a bathroom and uh, you know that is it done then and then when i go into my areas uh, it now shows that i've got one device and that is my car so there you go those are zones and areas within home assistant really really straightforward to go and set up it some of it's you know a little bit of a, uh, a management aspect of things within home assistant to make it easier for you to um, you know keep control of all your devices and everything some of it is obviously you know to enable you to be able to do really complex and clever automations and trigger events and stuff like that so definitely one to take away and to, to learn more about this but if you're using zones and areas already in Home Assistant, then what are you doing with those? You know, let me know down below in the comments. If you've enjoyed this video, then don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And if you're following along on this series, then don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you get informed when the next video comes out in the series. But as always, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.